taking any questions right now. So uh, I just want to move uh, for the third lecture from uh, my friend, Dr. Kaisar Nasrullah Khan. He's a CTU specialist in Bangladesh and definitely a very good CTU specialist I see ever. And Dr. Kaisar Nasrullah Khan, he will be talking on CTU retrograde case, tips and tricks. So uh, let's enjoy Dr. Kaisar's lecture and then we will uh, uh, discuss later on after Dr. Ramesh Devagatri lectures. So that would be great, inshallah. Thank you. Dr. Kaisa Nasrullah Am I audible? Yes. Yes. The great Kaisar Khan. Ah, Dr. Kaisa Nasrullah Khan, the retrograde expert in Bangladesh. Right, sir. CTU expert. And my friend as well. Yes. Mm, yeah. So you have to be proud <laughs> uh, of it. Definitely. You, you are also my friends. That's why everyone is my friend. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, Assalamu alaikum and very good morning to all. Really honored to be in this CTO session, though I think I am not worthy of it. And um, my today's topic is CTO retrograde case tips and tricks. I would like to express my humble thanks and gratitude to the uh, BSCI, especially the President Fazul Rahman, Mir Jamal Chaudhary, who is our Secretary General, and also Golam Azam, who is Scientific Secretary, and the moderators, Nesar Bhai and Shofik, my friends, and Nesar Bhai, my senior, and also the Sky Committee for arranging a wonderful conference so that we can learn from each other in this difficult COVID pandemic situation. Hands off to you all. I have nothing to disclose. Well, when to consider retrograde? One, proximal cap ambiguity. Two, poor distal bed. Three, bifurcation at distal cap. Four, Antigate failure, five, you have to have very good international collateral for retrograde. Now, I would like all of you to focus to this slide. This is the basic of doing CTO. You have to connect the proximal and distal lumen, either antigately or retrogradely, only by two methods. One, true lumen to true lumen, wire escalation method. Two, going to sub space and again coming back to true lumen by dissection and re-entry method. This is the basic two method for doing all situ. No other method is uh, there. So my today's agenda are this. Let's take one by one for doing retrograde. First, using imaging modulitis information. So first you have to do the angiogram properly, dual injection, drop magnification, no panning, sequential injection, and long accusation. So you can see, you can pan, this is a faulty angiogram, and this is the correct angiogram where you don't pan the table and can see the situ very good and see the collateral as well. Build up appropriate system. So uh, you have to puncture double. You can be femoro-femoral, femoro-radial, or radio-radial. Guiding catheter should be backup type, especially for left XB, RCA, AL1, or hockey stick, preferably seven to eight French, side hole to keep enough coronary flow. And for retrograde case, we have to have short guiding catheter, 90 centimeter. You need wire supporting device. Few of them are this, like Corsair channel dilator and support device from Ashahi, Teremo fine cross, Caraval Ashahi, very short profile of the tip, and you, I uh, have to, ha you also have should, had, could have a snare to catch the retrograde wear and get into antigate guide catheter. Sometimes it could be difficult. IVAS is another important tool for retrograde case, sometimes, not always. And the role of IVAS is to know the balloon size in reverse cut and to know the position of the two wares in the space. So you, you all know there are the only four things might happen, uh, both Antigen and retrograde wear could be in the same space like intimal or subintimal, or one could be intimal, one could be in subintimal. So according to wire position, we can uh, decide to create a bigger balloon, or sometimes if it is in different space, we can redirect one uh, wire into the same space and then connect them with a bigger balloon. So wire selection, shape control, we have different type of wire like Sion family, Gaia, uh, Filder, and Gaia has got Gaia next, and tapered bud like Pilot, Confringer Pro 912, uh, hydrophilic and tapered wear. And this is a very important wear for doing retrograde, the long wear, 300 centimeter, 350 centimeter RG3 Viper wear. Uh, 
um, and wire shaping but the correct shaping is this it could have only one bend near the tip for penetration and two tip when you want to guide them one near bend one three centimeter from the bend and wire manipulation through the CTO body uh, drilling sliding puncture push deflect torque by Gaia surfing you know sometimes you don't see the collateral so you you need to surf by see on black or pilot and knuckling now negotiating collateral channel is very important for retrograde we've got four type of uh, collateral channels septal epicardial venous graft lima and before doing the CTO retrograde you have to select which one first and if you fail then second then third then fourth septal or uh, other collateral channels ideal collaterals should have more than 90 degree angle both with donor and recipient vessels no tortuosity no bifurcation clear connections so collateral assessments when while we are being rc cto uh, led septal to rpd is 70 percent and av cracks to plv 50 percent you can cross and sometimes apical led to rpda for doing led cto you can choose pda septal to led or you can choose rb branch to led or ra branch to led and for sac cto you can diagonal to om or plv to um, sac or led septal to LPDA or OA. So while going inside the septum from the uh, entry gate um, or donor artery, you should give a big bend to get in. And when uh, you negotiate this uh, collateral, you should give a small bend. And if you see visible connection to collateral, Sion is preferred. If it's extremely tortuous, you can take through a wire. And if it's invisible channel, you can try the filter XTR or FC wire or pilot. Basics of negotiating collateral, take proper view, take software, be very gentle to negotiate collateral channel, use support catheter, all this. Wire crossing options, uh, retrograde wire cross, so you hit the CTO from back by retrograde uh, CTO wire after crossing the collateral channel and cross the CTO body and get the proximal two lumen. And then you externalize the wire uh, through the integrate guide catheter. Uh, then you uh, integrate bellowing through the retrograde wire and then you put the stand. So this is the wire crossing option, uh, true lumen to true lumen. Then the very popular reverse cut, uh, when you can't get into the proximal true lumen by the entry, uh, retrograde wire, you take an gate wire, and then you try to dilate the through over the entry gate wire to increase the subintimal space or intimal space, and then redirect the retrograde wire to that large space created by the entry gate balloon and get into the proximal true lumen, and then you know, standing. This is an example of reverse card. You can see RC dominant CTO with blunt uh, uh, tip and, and a, a, a branch near the CTO. LED, there was a stand, two stands, which are patterned. SART is non dominant. So, in summary, this is a proximal stump, blunt with a side branch, no calcification, bending less than 45 degrees, CTO 20 millimeter length. Previous attempt was yes. So, Jesse's score was three. So first I tried integrally with filter XTA where failed, can't penetrate, then take Conquest Pro 9 where penetrated but can't get into the distal true lumen, even after several attempts. So decided for retrograde approach, hook LED, cross through the septal branch to reach RCA PDA with microcatheter and CO. So planned for contemporary reverse <coughs> cut, inflated integrately. 2.5 balloon in distal CTO tried to aim the balloon with retrograde Gaia second wire. But could not connect the integrate decision pane created by balloon with retrograde Gaia second wire after several attempts. Then I changed the retrograde wire to Conquest Pro 9 wire, tried to bring it in the same integrate dissection plane and confirm the two were in the same plane by rotational angiography. After confirming the two words in the same plane, I took a bigger balloon, 315, to enlarge the integrated space and aim it with the retrograde pad. Even then, the retrograde pad failed to pass proximally. I was confident that there should be connection between the two planes. Here, you need to sometimes step down. So I exchanged the retrograde pad to slippery filter XTR where, after some maneuvering, succeeded to pass proximal RCA to entry gate RCA guide catheter. Trap the retrograde wire and balloon 
and they took the network and micro catheter up in the entrigate RC guide catheter and then took out the filter XTR wear, exchanged it with RG300 centimeter wear, and then um, calibrated the lesion over the retrograde wear by entrigate filming and, and positioned the scan, deployed, post dilated. And this is the last picture of the RCS CT. And sometimes uh, uh, difficult by the retrograde wear to get into the proximal true lumen. And if the antigate wear is in the true lumen, then we can put uh, a stent there, and it's called reverse cut with stenting, very rarely done. So this is another technique. And then after passing the wear, sometimes difficult to cross the device. So you have to use low profile balloon, like 1.5, 1 millimeter balloon. You have to take support by guidance catheter Godzilla, and making to get good support. Sometimes if it's difficult, you have to use corners, corsair, and sometimes even rota even. So take home message for all. The 10 commandments for doing retrograde CTO. One, no ad hoc PCI. Two, dual injection. Three, study the angiogram. Don't do, uh, study the angiogram properly. At least spend your half an hour time to see your plan. Make a plan. Plan A, plan B, plan C. If I fail this, then plan B. Then plan C, fill, fill this, plan C. Check ACT every 30 minutes. Something you forget and cause thrombosis, ask the system to do it. Support, sometimes you need hematonium support if EF is low. Uh, ECG pressure monitoring, keep an eye. Sometimes we are so engulfed in, in doing CTO, there's a bit you don't see. Minimize radiations. Vigilance for complication, predict those things, perforation, have double scan into lab, and persistence. So take home message, retrograde approach has the potential to be the last reliable method to recognize CTO. Battle against CTO can't be won on the day of procedure, rather day before the procedure. So planning for imaging, strategy, and technique, appropriate hardware and device is very important. Contemporary reverse cut is new technique to increase the chance of success in retrograde approach by specific aiming the entrigate balloon with dia wear and preventing enlargement of retrograde dissection pain by retrograde wear. There is no shame in referring difficult and or failed cases to expert operators or cabbage. Sometimes it's better to lose your ego to win patient's heart. I'm indebted to my uh, uh, cath lab uh, team and my uh, uh, colleagues uh, in the United to help me doing the CTOs. And also, my, I express my humble gratitude to my Japanese uh, colleagues, especially Satoru Sumo Suzu, who came to Bangladesh and uh, taught many of us the retrograde uh, cases. Thank you, Sensei. Keyword for success of CTO. You're a long uh, line to be. And of course, as an intervention cardiologist, you are the last person in the queue. So to reach your goal, you need to have patience. Yes, yes. And you are climbing a mountain. To reach uh, to the top of the mountain, you need to have perseverance. So my point is that patience and perseverance are the key words for success of city. So you need to try, try, and try. Thank you all.